good evening i am into the industry from the last 8 years so most of the time i am into the ibm stack so i am here to train on the ibm api connect part from the last 10 odd years uh, we are hearing the word api so how this api works is whenever take an example like banking sector there we have multiple operations uh, in in every in day to day activities of the bank's life so from in that uh, bank's transaction take an example of money transaction so if i have to if a person has to transact his money he has to visit the bank 10 years back the latter what it happened everything is digitalized so uh, the apis were into the picture from 2013 onwards uh, relatively so at that time uh, every mobile 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 applications and the websites are making use of this apis and uh, they are uh, taking the banking services in the form of apis and they are utilizing uh, the applications to transfer the money here uh, the person's uh, manual of visiting the bank will be reduced so uh, in these days uh, ap economy is uh, picking up the growth so every taking from the web applications to mobile applications microservices all are uh, making use of this apis and they are using in their business and they are making huge growth in their business so when it comes to api here we have uh, different types of apis so here uh, we are mainly concentrating on the web apis where we we are dealing with the uh, internet based up uh, apis when uh, these apis are exposed by the banks if if banking bank has hundreds of services they expose their services in the form of apis so there will be hundreds of apis into the internet we need a platform to organize and manage these apis so what happened uh, every uh, vendors major vendors like ibm uh, google and all those things were introduced their own product and they making use of this apis to increase their business so one of our product is ibm api connect earlier which is uh, named like ibm api connect later uh, from the version of 5 uh, it is renamed to ibm api connect so this ibm api connect and ibm api management uh, were name wise they are different but functionally they are similar the uh, some of the functions are added into the ibm api connect or some of the uh, unusable features are removed from the api management and uh, they release the uh, version api connect the latest version of the api connect is version 10 which is recently uh, released and i can say which is not yet stable so uh, most of the companies were using version 5 only uh, we have version 2018 version 10 but most of the industry still using the version 5.x different flavors of the 5.0 version so i can say 5.x so as introduced myself i have uh, eight plus years of ex- it experience uh, most of the time i am into the ibm stack so i am i'm uh, i can say i am expertise in ibm data power and ibm api connect in addition to this i have a uh, knowledge of ibm mobile first uh, which is a mobile application hybrid platform today i am going to a uh, brief demo on uh, ibm api connect i am going to explain the components involved in ibm api connect so unlike the other technologies uh, ibm api connect which has uh, multiple components multiple components taking from the runtime to the uh, exposing to the uh, exposing this apis to the developers in the form of developer portal and also explains uh, where this api connect is uh, involved in the real time concepts like if we have multiple technologies and multiple uh, uh, platforms available already so what is the need of api connect and it what it what stage this api connect suits in the industry so i'll give you a brief on this today's agenda we can see the uh, different topics involved with the ibm api connect starting from the introduction uh, we have a uh, different uh, different stages uh, of the api take starting from the api development till it is exposed and utilized by the developer applications so here we have the list of uh, curriculum taking the introduction to the api connect api definition and different components involved with this uh, api connect and uh, here in this api connect we have uh, different parts these are like catalogs and spaces here catalogs are nothing but the runtime uh, we can say in the different applications we can say uh, uh, servers catalogs are nothing but servers each catalog associated with a developer portal there will be a unique developer portal for catalog i'll explain all this in the level so here uh, and its topic will be like uh, api life cycle so unlike the other uh, other other uh, uh, development tools api apis are involved in different stages here we can say 
uh, from the starting of the api creation management and providing security all this comes under the api life cycle so one of the stages api creation so here in ibm api connect we have a uh, different terminology once it is not uh, creating an api and publishing it it is not the case here here we have involvement of products and plans products uh, multiple apis will be staged into the different products and these products will be published to the catalogs here uh, in catalogs we can uh, make use of the plans plans are nothing but uh, in the real time we can see take hotstar as an example there we have the application will be same with the hotstar but there we have different different stages of the hotstar take it from the uh, free trial vip and the premium so the application will be same the functionality will be different with the vip and uh, premium here uh, with, with making use of the api connect we can differentiate the plans taking from the gold silver and uh, here in api connect we have different policies most of the development part uh, the coding part will be involved with these policies uh, once we creating the apis is not uh, supposed to uh, not enough we have to secure our apis Uh, with the different available uh, mecha security mechanisms, taking from OR to LDAP. So as I said earlier, uh, if we have multiple hundreds of APIs from a bank, we have to manage all those things. So we we'll may make use of this API kind of ma API manager uh, component, and we'll manage these uh, APIs. And once uh, all this setup is done, and all the uh, the applications are uh, subscribed to the APIs, and uh, everything is done. we need to uh, anal analysis the apis which api is using most and which apis are uh, getting uh, less rec uh, request in, in the real time all this will be monitored using the uh, api analytics part so and the logging will be there we, here uh, here i can in, uh, i can involve one of the uh, key component of the api connect is the other product of ibm uh, which is data power uh, we can say data power runs as an uh, acts as an runtime to the ibm api connect so whatever you do here in the api connect which will be stored in the uh, data power in order to install the data uh, ibm api connect we at least need a runtime means a at least a data power coming to this course training this course will be uh, completed in 20 hours with all the development perspective in mind so this course also contains like a basic a basic level of installation starting from uh, on premises and there will be one one more flavor uh, cloud flavor and we have the docker and all those things but here we are uh, making use of the cloud and we are uh, uh, completing our development so the other part is api kind of development in this development we will we'll, uh, try to finish all the uh, all the components from uh, api creation api management and products catalogs involved in this api management uh, dev portal and the security concepts and the all different uh, available policies uh, we will we'll explain here coming to the time and fee uh, you just contact the mind magic management so as i said earlier the market share is of about 10.5% so most of the bankings most of the banks in uh, across the world are making use of this ibm api connect product here we can see a uh, ipm api connect uh, uh, contributing 10.5% of market share in this uh, competitive world so we have a uh, different alternatives and comp competence uh, in in our market so most of the time uh, uh, google uh, whenever the google acquired a, a company apg it has acquired a market share of 8.3 you can see uh, how apis are uh, uh, dominating this uh, market share we can say ibm api connect is the best uh, available product in the market because of its service and uh, its support here once we complete this uh, training uh, we can uh, go with this uh, solution implementation certificates this these are completely into the uh, development part so here uh, version 505 here 2018.x so here we have a uh, latest version version 10 as well not most of the industry is preferred yet because of on uh, unstability uh, which is recently recently into the market so once you complete this uh, certification you will get a certification certificate from mind magics 
stating uh, the, this you have completed this course, AP Connect course. So here in our IBM AP Connect training, in addition to the API managers, here we uh, make complete explanation of uh, IBM, different members involved in the IBM API Connect, starting from the administrator, starting from the uh, API manager, owner, and uh, publisher, and all those things. And what are the roles we have, and how these permissions can be given. We'll explain it. So security. Admin level security we have, and we have the AP, uh, API level security and admin level security will cover both admin level security and API level security in this. So coming to the advanced topic in API Connect, uh, we have uh, different enforcement points and we have uh, additional features. We can import into the API Connect, which are not provided in API Connect uh, by default. We can make, uh, say, as I explained earlier, we have uh, data power as runtime to this API Connect. There we can, if any, any, we have anything developed there already, we can import into the API can, and we can make use of it. And the developer portal. Uh, developer portal is mainly to socialize the APIs. Uh, whenever you uh, develop an API, we, in order to consume by the uh, end user or application, uh, we make use of this developer portal and we expose them. In addition to the developer portal, uh, we can we can we have uh, analytics portal and developer portal, API manager console and uh, CMC. There will be a CMC cloud manager console where most of the administration part involved with the CMC. So uh, not much ex uh, much exposing CMC here as it comes of a completed development part. But I, I'll 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 give you basic introduction to the CMC and uh, uh, analytics part. And we have another component, uh, which is for API uh, for uh, uh, in order to consume the loopback applications, in order to create the loopback applications, we have another uh, another application. We'll start with that in the uh, live training. So uh, as I said earlier, most of the time uh, I have worked with the banking projects. They are, they are the major banks in India. And I can give the live examples uh, when, we, even it, uh, when the time comes. But uh, I can say I have worked with a, uh, one of the India's largest bank where uh, they have exposed their hundreds of hundreds of services from the IIB. So what API Connect does there is, uh, it sits in the middle of the uh, this uh, IIB and uh, to the uh, end market. It sits in between uh, and it manages all these things. Whenever a new client, say, uh, I'll give you an example here. Uh, I, I'm sitting in the bank uh, as an API Connect developer and uh, the bank applications are exposed via uh, IIB, which is also an IBM product. Uh, here, we, we need not to worry on this, that product. So they are exposing the uh, services in the form of APIs to the API Connect. What API Connect does is, API Connect manages all these applications and it provides to the uh, applications. So if, uh, for example, uh, I have a phone pay application, which is uh, mainly used to transact uh, money transactions, and for recharges and all those things. Like that, we have hundreds of applications. So what I, I do is I'll expose my applications to this, uh, my APS to these applications via dev portal. So what uh, in, in, uh, customers does is they'll come to the bank and they ask for these uh, APS. And if uh, our APS are, uh, anyhow our APS are protected, so we'll give them uh, proper uh, credentials in order to access these uh, APS. And uh, we, we onboard these applications to the API Connect uh, using the API Dev Portal, and we'll uh, expose this our services, and they'll consume uh, our APIs. So uh, most of I have worked with uh, multiple banking applications. Uh, I'll give the number and all the APIs whatever used in the uh, live, live live training. So and I have also uh, involved in the retail projects. Uh, for example, in this retail project, I can, I'll can give you a scenario where uh, take Rolf Lauren retail uh, retail company. What they do, they manufacture their uh, their clothes and they marketize them. So in order to make a higher business, what they do is they'll make use of different social platforms like Facebook and Instagram, and they sell their products via this Facebook and Instagram. So in order to do this, uh, what uh, what Ralph Lauren said uh, does is they consume the APIs of 
uh, Instagram or Facebook. This Instagram and Facebook have exposed their APS like anything, and they they are giving a platform in order to build a business of any any company. Here in case in in Ralph Lauren's case, they created a platform, the APS, and the Ralph Lauren's comes to this Facebook. They make use of the, their Facebook or Instagram's APIs and they sell their products. Whenever the request is initiated uh, through the Facebook API, it goes to the Rolf Lauren and all the uh, backend transactions will be done. So I'll, I can give uh, more explanation on these projects uh, in, in the appropriate time. To practice this API Connect, uh, we have uh, multi, uh, we have different different uh, levels in order to install this API Connect. I'll give uh, the different types and uh, their uh, probability of accessing. So first thing is uh, on-premises. On-premises is nothing but we, have, we need to get the software and we need to install in our uh, local machines and we have to access them. So here, are, here the typicality is we have to acquire the software. Here we have different uh, versions of there uh, stating from essential, professional, and uh, enterprise. Here, uh, in order to practice, essential is enough. It, uh, the idea will not give any support or service to this essential part. When it comes to uh, enterprise and professional, the IBM involves and they comes to, they provide these uh, services uh, to this product. But uh, for practice pers perspective, we need not to get all those things. Uh, and one more thing here, in order to uh, establish a on-premises uh, uh, setup, we need data power and API connect. This data power needs uh, some more RAM to uh, run and additionally API connect. But uh, uh, all machines are not sub supported with this uh, uh, this high configuration. So what I'll uh, go with this go with is uh, IBM Cloud option. Here we have uh, IBM Cloud. We already all the setups all setups are configured. We need to just we we need to create an account. We have to log in. We have to make use of that and we have to practice. That is what uh, the approach for this uh, this uh, training, and we have the Docker, and we have our uh, different uh, different flavors of this uh, Docker. We are not touching the Docker here now, so we are making use of this uh, cloud, and we are just practicing our training. So for this, we need an IBM account, IBM Cloud account. Uh, we can create it by going to the cloud.ibm.com, and we have good internet speed. That's it. That's it. We can uh, start learning on API. Just track anywhere, or we need to dig up uh, a lot. Uh, we just need to go to the IBM site, and uh, we can uh, uh, see all the different possibilities of uh, IBM API kind of implementations. Here is the link. Uh, we can uh, we can get into that, and we can dig a lot. If we stuck anywhere, or we we confused with uh, what are the configurations we have to do in the API kind of level, uh, we can find all the documentation at this uh, IBM site. So mock interview. Once we are done with this mock interview, uh, once we are done with the API Connect training, uh, we will go with the different levels of mock interviews. From development perspective, administration perspective, whatever we covered in the uh, training, uh, we can see uh, some of the certification questions as well. Uh, we are not sure they'll come. Uh, they are now following or not. But uh, previous whoever certified uh, will take the questions of their certification. We will try to solve those. If you have any questions, any queries related to the IBM products or any other uh, products, uh, we can come to the uh, Man Magics. Here uh, we have the link, uh, email link, info at mindmagic.com. If you uh, question, uh, then uh, Man Magics will respond. Thank you.